Awareness of where we are, the sense of place. It's the magic, the magic of architecture to create a sense of, of the uniqueness and the identity of that space. For me, starting with the rock and thinking of the geology and the topography here are where the teaching would begin. There really needs to be this understanding of the importance that prominent position that the environment plays as a, as a character in your experience in that place. Buildings are part of a larger geography, part of a larger place. The architecture that responds to the environment in which it is built is an architecture that is vernacular. It becomes vernacular if you build in the context of your environment, using the materials of the environment, using the setting of your environment, and also acknowledging the pressures of the environment. De pouvoir réaliser le milieu dans lequel on vit dans le nord. An architect can't design something isolated in a studio. They need to understand the place. And it begins by being there in person, uh, connecting to it, listening to it, touching it, feeling it, smelling it, speaking to people, reading about it, and then thinking about it and being critical. And it's through this conversation that architecture students can start to understand what sense of place is. Portaging through Killarney, we actually did that. Through the forest, carry things, <laughs> getting all muddy and dirty and, and experiencing what the North is all about. There's an adventurous quality and there's a quality of, um, again, that hands-onness that happens when you're, when you're interacting with the landscape. Experiencing the landscape in different ways will give you different clues and will, um, will free up or offer up different information about it. To have students embrace a traditional way of knowing and a traditional way of knowledge and learn about that slowly and patiently with, a, with an elder, I think that's radical in a sense to fold into an architecture school. The handcrafted approach, that's where you actually see that dimensional quality of where the culture meets the, the, the scientific principle to create exactly what you need with the bare minimum materials is, is essentially what sustainability is all about. It starts with the elders being in residence. Uh, the fact that they're here and that we are, want them here and that the students are talking to them and getting to know them. Nos années sont dans les classes avec nous autres, ils nous parler, nous disent des histoires. A lot of students who didn't grow up around indigenous people they won't have heard somebody say that a rock is alive and it has a, a, has a, a personality or it has a spirit and you need to respect that. How do we take traditional thinking, traditional knowledge and apply that to, to how we design? You know, it's only going to enrich the curriculum, it's only going to enrich the architectural dialogue and it's actually going to make space for it. Identity is a global conversation right now uh, that is absolutely critical. Where do you live and what's your connection with, with that place? We have to recognize the reality that we are individuals in a community, but we also have our, our ethnic identities, our values. For architecture to have power and to survive and to mean and to speak across time and place, it needs to come from an idea. We are going to learn different ideas uh, and stories from cultures across time and place and connect those ideas and stories to design. Être capable de poursuivre mes études en français dans les groupes d'ateliers, c'était vraiment quelque chose qui était fidèle à moi-même, à ma culture. Là, ils ont l'opportunité d'avoir des personnes avec qui ils peuvent communiquer en français, qui peuvent développer leurs idées en français. C'est la manière qu'ils pensent. Et capable d'offrir mes connaissances francophones dans une école, c'est vraiment un ajout à non seulement l'école, mais aussi à moi-même. Tu es francophone dans ton esprit, tu es francophone dans ton cœur. On offre des profs francophones, on a des étudiants francophones, puis on a une communauté francophone. 
Co-op is experiential learning, so it's hands-on learning. The co-op program allows students to be out there experiencing and learning very early on in their education. Architecture is not uh, exclusively uh, done in the studio, so they feel part of a larger construction industry. And they're seeing the other side, perhaps, of architecture that they don't learn in class. Because of the design built nature of the studio, it is different than other architectural studios where most of the learning happened at the drafting table. You're thinking through making, and as you make things, it's iterative, and you don't know what you're going to make. If you know what you're going to make and you just make a model of it, it's a description. If you're making something and you don't know where it's going to end up, then you're designing. It's about kind of getting your hands dirty. You see how the things are together, you can see it physically, you can say, oh, ça va-tu rester debout, ça, ici? Donc, tu le pratiques, tu le vois, puis c'est comme un succès ou c'est une faillite, donc c'est là où ce que tu apprends. You, you sometimes discover things out of that process. That's when it started to click for me, that the hands-on experience and all of the, all the skills that we had been building up to that point, there was a certain cohesion between the hands-on, the technical, and understanding that material that you're working with. I think a lot of the students were surprised with themselves. After they had built something, they go, wow, like, we actually built this. How you put these things together, you're always going to carry that knowledge with you. If you put it together by yourself, you can come back to it and you know where to begin. So what inspires me about the school and the curriculum is it's picked up on all the good things that have been happening in architecture. Understanding, understanding, understanding what you are doing. That is to me fundamental. Before you start drawing a building, understand what the issue is. And the focus is hands-on learning. It is design build. It is about these connections through place and culture. That all of this kind of comes together in a new type of architectural community. If you start seeing that thickening, all those layers, one upon the other upon the other, the unique thing about the curriculum as a whole is that this experience now of all of those things that you come into as a student, you're going to get a very rich and diverse experience. There are different ways of learning, different experiences that you're going to have, and the kinds of architects that will come out of that program will do different things. It's the prototype Canadians School of Architecture. It encompasses all the dimensions that celebrate who we are.